Yo, yo, super fun force. Back at it with some more Transformers. That's right, T-formers. Some of the OG characters I remember from G1 back in the days. And we're going to take a look at Studio Series Grimlock. With an upgrade kit, we're going to take a look closely at what that entails because there's different, you know, kind of like upgrades or add-ons you could purchase. There's a specific kit I got, and I'll tell you why. And let's take a closer look. All right, here is Grimlock. All right, he's looking awesome. And this is the Studio Series. I did buy some extra accessories. I'll talk about that in just a second. I also want to quickly mention that I like Wheelie. You know, he has hollow legs and he doesn't transform, but still, to me, it's perfect as an accessory from Grimlock, much needed. I do have a G1 Wheelie, and you definitely cannot, you know, put Wheelie on a Grimlock uh, the way you can with this accessory. And to me, the G1 Wheelie is the only one I need. So having this much appreciated, 100%, good job with that. And, uh, you know, again, the transformation on this is super clean, simple. They're almost all the same across the different Grimlocks. And I do like the details on this. You know, it's, again, a lot more circuitry and detailing and engravings than I would like, as I mentioned in a lot of my Transformers reviews. But, you know, there's, there's a time and a place and a style depending on the character, depending on the franchise, whatever. But with Grimlock and the Dinobots, I think it's fine. It still has more of a clean look anyways, you know, even though he has all these extra details. It's not as detracting because, again, he's a, you know, dinosaur, reptilian-ish with, you know, scaly skin and all that stuff. So I'm totally down for it. When I still see uh, this figure, it does definitely look like a G1 cartoon. So it's not as distracting. You know, I can kind of overlook all the extra circuitry and all that stuff. It does come with this a gun here, which I like to plug into the tail. Uh, other than that, everything else I've gotten is third party and then this is what I recommend you get. So first off is a sword. I chose to get the red one. I think there's orange and yellow variants as well, but the red one just really, really pops and I think it's, you know, just so clean and necessary to have for Grimlock. All right, so the big thing that, uh, you know, Hasbro, Takara told me did wrong was they gave Grimlock uh, a big gaping hole in the front of his mouth. Thankfully, the third party kit allowed for two pieces there, top and bottom, which they basically had adhesives and you peel it off and they just place it in and then it's done, simple. Now for the hollowness, fortunately this only has hollowness here uh, and that's because that's where the hands go. Now these also came with the kit, they match pretty well. Uh, they screw in here, you don't over tighten it, you still want to be a little bit loose. Uh, and to me it, it serves its purpose and it's fine. Uh, the other thing that is shocking is that it comes with a black, um, you know, plastic plate that I removed and put this clear one because with the black smoky dark one, it really detracts from the details. It just looks like a black blob here, uh, you know, an oil stain or something. But now you can actually see the Autobot symbol underneath. So super clean, another must have. So I'm really happy that came with the kit. And then as you can see here, it also comes with a crown because Grimlock is a king. So even though it doesn't stay on the dinosaur head, it still looks really cool. Uh, it's made to be uh, a bit more fitting on the uh, robot mode head. So again, those are the must-haves, 100%. I recommend you guys source those kits out. There's all kinds of uh, listings and stuff and ways to buy them last I checked. But you know, get them before they become too rare for sure. To me, this is the best Grimlock because it combines like, you know, masterpiece, you know, level, detail, complexity without being a nuisance to transform with these cartoon accurate colors and I think the scale again is 100% uh, fine for me. So that's why this is such an awesome Grimlock for sure. All right guys, thanks so much for hanging out. That's my quick review of Grimlock Studio Series. Don't forget to get it. Like and subscribe. Please say your prayers, keep your faith, stay positive, be thankful, and spread that love. All right guys, coming back at you. Peace. And don't forget, me Grimlock kick butt.